and welcome to the 20th window in the 2019 Two Fat Lardies Advent Calendar. And today, with a huge fanfare, Richard's going to be telling us about his best wargaming memory. Yes, the very best wargaming memory. I can only hope it's the day that I arrived at Lard Island, but I doubt that's the one. For most of my youth, I was a solo gamer uh, with a lack of any opponents and also facing a real parental objection to my hobby. They really, really deeply disliked uh, the fact that I'd taken up wargaming because to them, I think they just didn't see it as taking up a new hobby uh, at 11. I think they just saw it that I'd never stopped playing with toy soldiers and they felt that that was pretty bad. Anyway, um, by 18, I had a job and a, got a mortgage and my own flat, at which point it was a real uh, liberation. Um, uh, at the same time, funnily enough, an advert came out in Military Modelling Magazine for a war games club in St Albans. Well, I attended that and uh, I played the most bizarre World War II game I've ever come across with a collection of 20 mil kits and I think figures, although from memory... Um, it was a bridge crossing game with a village on a bridge in the centre of the table. The infantry seemed to be spending the whole game hiding in the buildings because it, as soon as they stuck their head out, they were going to be obliterated. And it was just a really odd experience. I remember uh, by a fluke shot knocking out something like an elephant with a Sherman and thinking, oh, wow, I'm glad I got rid of that because this elephant had been rolling up... Um, my uh, US tanks, only to see my opponent bring forward some heavy half-tracks and claim that the gun was still working and drag this elephant around the table, <laughs> effectively destroying everything in sight. It was the most obscure, weird game that I've ever played in my life. And I remember the rules were on a Xerox photocopy. Um, of a huge sheet of tables from what was Bath War Games Club World War Two rules, and uh, it was in the, it, in the days where um, the Xerox copy was on that heat-based paper, and as it was exposed to the daylight, the text on the paper would wear off. So half the rules on the right-hand side of the page were missing. <laughs> So um, a lot of it was uh, entirely made up as we went along. I think. Um, however, despite that, I'd found people with a shared interest who enjoyed doing what I was doing. And for me, finally, I could really feel that I was a war gamer. And I think that the inclusivity that we focus on on the Lardy Games Day was triggered by my experiences of spending so many years in the wilderness, not knowing anybody to game with. Um, not having anybody to game with. And the, the sheer joy of finding people who, who enjoyed your hobby, um, even if they were doing it in a way that you perceived as being very slightly odd. But, yeah, without doubt, finding the St Albans War Games Club at uh, 18 years old was the best wargaming memory for me and a total life changer. Remember, lard is for life and not just for Christmas.